So first, I want you to think about your town. And I'm going to tell you something that's true that you've probably never thought about. There are four types of coffee shops in your town. Mm, okay. There is the chain. So mm -hmm. Dunkin' Donuts, Honeydew, Starbucks, insert your favorite chain. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And that's one type. There is the first responder coffee shop. And I'm going to explain more about that. That's where the EMTs, the uh, volunteer fire folks, the you know police officers, they're all gathered there every morning. Mm -hmm. There is the um, kind of like the neighborhood local coffee shop, mm -hmm. which is the place mm -hmm. that a lot of moms stop by quickly uh, to grab, you know, the regular, the carrot muffin, the uh, latte or whatever on their way to school. Or maybe mm -hmm. they meet their mom friends after school. And then there's the fourth type of coffee shop in your neighborhood, which is that super kind of high end one. If you think about the first type of coffee shop, the chain, yeah, yep. that is not a great place for you to create a bond with mm. anybody that you want to become friends with. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you why. Because those kind of uh, coffee shops are very transactional. Yeah, A lot mm -hmm. of them have mobile order. A yeah. lot of them have drive through. And so the entire psychology and energy of anybody going to that coffee shop is get in and get out yeah yep. get in yeah and get make out. it efficient get in you and get out don't want to be seen <laughs> correct right. and if there is somebody sitting in there with a laptop they are likely going to be sitting there with a laptop not every single day mm -hmm. because they will probably be asked to like not use it as their local mm -hmm. library yeah but they're likely going to have headphones on right because they're yeah. trying to get something done and because that kind of coffee shop experience is so transactional that people mm -hmm. are in and out and in and out and in and out, it's a very distracting place to work. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that, while they may serve great coffee and it may be an efficient way to put a mobile order in and zip in and get your coffee as you're commuting somewhere else, it's not a great place to create a bond. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to just move that off the table. Okay. okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Second type of coffee shop in every community is what I call the first responders, salt of the earth coffee shop. Mm -hmm. This is where the <laughs> people that grew up in the town, the old yes. timers, mm -hmm. the uh, volunteers that keep our town running, mm -hmm. the uh, highway, cons the highway, yep. you know, roads, uh, kind of yeah, what's construction that? workers. Yeah, 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 like I love these road maintenance. Yes, they yeah. got the best damn donuts in town. And the it's, little cups of coffee. Oh yeah, the saucers. little those like yeah. thick saucers. <laughs> yeah. This like used to be the diner crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's here's, an institution. It's an institution. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're new, it is intimidating as hell it to is. walk into it, even it's though true. it's yes. all of the most best, amazing people. Nice people. Who know everyone. I yes, know. They make they your are, town yeah. run. Right. Yes. But it feels like an insider. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a yeah. hard casing on top of that that you have to kind of crack And you feel through. like you have to sit Why? down there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that kind of first responder, salt of the earth, Thank you for your service, everybody. We love you. Yes. Uh, the, the backbone of our town. That kind of coffee shop proves my point. Because that coffee shop experience where everybody gathers, mm -hmm. they're always there having their <laughs> cup of coffee before work, or they're always there after plowing all the driveways at yeah. a snowstorm. Very yeah. routine. Right? That coffee shop has created their bond. Yes. They wow. prove that it's possible. Yes. Never thought about that. Right? Yeah. yeah. And by point. sitting there over a cup of coffee and 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 having it be a ritual to start their day together most mm. mornings, their friendship is deepening. Coffee shop number three in your town is the coffee shop where it's like the local coffee shop. Mm -hmm. It's where all the moms go on the way to work or on the way to dropping off kids at school. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's the place where it's bustling in the morning. You got people with laptops out. It is the um, walk up and every other customer, they're like, I'll have the regular. And the people working behind the counter are like, they know. Oh, yeah. that means you want a, uh, a latte with three sugars and you want the carrot muffin to go. Mm. Or that means that you want the uh, hot tea 
and you also want the egg sandwich with sausage on it. Mm -hmm. And so it's this community driven, very busy, bustling. They're usually busy till like 11 because a lot of people meet there after dropping off their kids. Mm -hmm. Like it's that kind of place. Yeah. 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 So it's different from number one because it's maybe not a franchise and it's just more local. Yes. The local feel. Yep. 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 Okay. And different for number two because it's not really the place where you see the established group. Yeah. Almost every morning. Yeah. Okay. This is the place that if I had to meet you at 10 o'clock to catch up, we'd meet there. Yeah. Mm. You know like what I mean? Solid like, food, solid coffee. Yeah. Like yeah. You know you're going to yeah. get the right yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. But they got the little punch Plus, card. They yeah, buy the, the loyalty coffee program. Program. Yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They might even have the alphabetized index on the desk. You know, for your cards, you can leave oh, it there. It's, oh, okay. it's like that kind yeah. of place, right? Yeah. yeah. They might convert to sandwiches, you know, yeah. at, at noontime. Yeah, right. That kind of place. Right. And, and all the teenagers, all, way more food, and all the teenagers in, in town work there yes. in the summertime. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you see, like, little Joe, who you <laughs> knew from six months old, and now he's 16, and he's yeah. serving yep. you your matcha. Yeah, yeah. Yep. exactly. Yep. Okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And, you know, one of the other things I'm going to layer into this is that, again, the sorting hat reference. Mm. Certain types of people go to certain types of coffee shops on a regular basis. Mm. I'm not saying that we don't frequent all four because I do frequent all four of these. Sure. But there is my go-to that really I feel more at home in. Yeah. Yeah. That you want to spend an hour there. You want to spend two hours. Like if you could only pick one of the four, there is one that you would pick. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know the kind of person that you are and the kind of sorting hat thing that's going to happen for you. And and this gets deeper and deeper. But let me tell you number four next. So number four is that coffee shop that is always written up in the travel guide about your town. (laughs) It is the one that is white with barn wood. And the people that work there are very, like, kind of cool, yeah, hippie, smart, maybe a beanie. Yeah. You've got an <laughs> a, a, a apron on with a leather strap. Yeah. The pastries look like a million dollars. The, mm. uh, the coffee is strong. Mm-hmm. The, the latte machine is like the size of a New York City bus, and it looks <laughs> yeah. gorgeous. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and that is... A whole different crowd. Yeah. Very. A whole different crowd. Yep. And one of the things that I love about this distinction is that when you kind of decide, okay, one, two, three, or four, mm-hmm. and you can decide that based on if you had two hours to spend, which coffee shop are you going to go to for two hours? Mm, right. Like you've got mm. a kid that's getting uh, braces put on. You got two hours to kill. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going to go sit with your book? And the reason why this is important is because you know instinctually in your heart there are going to be certain kinds of people with certain kinds of interests coming in and out. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't, none of these are better than the other. They just attract a baseline person who's interested in certain things. And look, there are amazing people that go to all four and there are complete assholes that go to all four. It's not about that. It's about the baseline interest Mm -hmm in what people like right so that's why the sorting hat is important if you want to start to make adult friends park yourself at one of those coffee shops several mornings a week and on one day on the weekend for an hour Mm. how is that going to help mal what are you talking about going to help (laughs) yeah that's that's going to help time is you're going to start seeing people coming in and out and they're going to be the same people. Mm-hmm. And you're going to start saying hello. Oh. And like mm-hmm. I've seen Jesse at coffee shop number four. Guilty. Yeah. Yes. And it was Jesse that told me about it. Mm. I had been oh. here an entire oh. year. I did not know that coffee shop number four existed. <laughs> wow. Because your eyes were closed. Yes. To the friendship. Yes. I was still thinking I was just going to have dirt around my house. Yes. So I'm not like going Mel to a coffee shop. Living in her aunt, aunt farm <laughs> and with so, all the dirt. Yeah. Jesse's Jesus. like, have you been to that? coffee shop and i'm not going to name it but you yeah know, i'd mm-hmm. love to promote all the coffee shops in our town yep. yeah but i was like no <laughs> kick rocks no i walked into that place i was like am i in brooklyn new york yeah there's a person with a beanie yeah there's an espresso <laughs> machine 
There's a, a, a pastry that I'd pay $75 for, largely because it tastes like $75. And also yeah. the ingredients, to for me to make this at home, it would take me eight hours. I would burn it and cost me $75 in ingredients. So yeah. I'm yep. willing to pay six five dollars for this thing i think it was what it was that's a <laughs> yeah. bargain bargain that's yeah. a freaking bargain yeah and when i walked into this place i was like oh, oh my god yeah oh my god yeah and so here's how this works this becomes your go-to place when you meet people elsewhere to meet at mm. yes yeah so anytime you meet somebody you knew or somebody introduces you to somebody in the town, you say, how about we go get coffee on Saturday morning at nine o'clock at the such and such? Yes. Now, here's where this starts to build. As you meet new people, here's what you say, because I always meet my friends there mm. at nine o'clock on Saturday morning. You're That's creating an institution. Right there. You're creating yeah. your bond and your institution. Nice. You know what? This is, you know, what's hitting me right now about all of this. Friendship is a verb. Oh, like when you're saying, oh, let's meet up for coffee or let's, you know, let you park yourself there and then you have to actually, you know, park yourself mm. at the coffee shop and then you actually have to talk to people. Yes. Friendship is a verb. Like you yes. got to be doing things. It's an action word. Like you have to make it happen. That's yes. what's hitting me right yes. now. Mm. Yeah. And the Good more point. you go there, the more you start to know the staff and the owners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see who else knows the staff and owners. And then that gives mm. you an in. Don't you just love this place? Mm -hmm. How long have you known so and so and so and so? Mm -hmm. And here's another way that you can like strike up a conversation. If you're standing in line, turn to the person next to you and ask them, what's the best donut? What's the best muffin? What's the best pastry here? What do you recommend? Yeah. Mm. That's your in. Yeah. yeah. That's your in. And here's the other reason why I don't like category number one for this kind of friendship building. And mm -hmm. the reason why is it's so transactional. Who in their right mind turns to anybody at a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts is like, what donut do you recommend? Yeah. Like, no, like, you're like, idiot. They've had the same ones for a decade. What do you mean, what ones? Have you never been here? The menu has not changed. Yes. And, and yeah. plus, you don't know if they're just driving through. Yeah. 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 On right. their way somewhere else. It's yeah. a pit stop. Yeah, yeah, it's a pit stop. And so this allows you to start to create that bond. Mm -hmm. It gives you a place where you're always going to say you meet people on Saturday mornings there at nine o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And that's your parking spot. Wow. That's your bond. And then you tell people that every time you meet them there and then people start to bring their friends. Yeah. And yeah. that's how it starts to grow. Today, I realized that I have had a life changing breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I woke up today and I feel like I live in adult summer camp, the point of the episode today is to get you to consider 